just rambling around Astoria, Oregon. We're going to be checking out the Oregon Film Museum, the Astoria Column, and a few other local sites. Let's get rambling, ramblers. So real quick here, I just want to mention they um, $5 to park. So when you come up to the Astoria Column, it's only $5 to park here. And this is good all year. It's so, good till the end of the year. So the, it's yeah. so this states 2023. So December 31st, 2023 will be your last chance to see the Astoria Column before you have to purchase and what's a new on one the back for 2024. Of that? Uh, is there a coupon for Moe's? A one-time 10% discount off your food purchase. Oh, so it's a coupon. Might have to grab some most. A 10% off coupon. And then look at this view. The idea for the Astoria column was a way to honor Astoria's role in the early exploration and settlement of the American West and was funded by the Great Northern Railroad and the Astor family. Dedicated on July 22, 1926, this column also served as a beacon for ships navigating the treacherous waters of the Columbia River. We're going to head into the Astoria Column, 164 steps. So we actually don't live far. So we made it to the top and it looks like it's not a very clear day, but we do see Mount St. Helens over here. Good deal, we made it up the 164 steps pretty fast, didn't we? Oh yeah, just yeah. get it over with. One <laughs> we step just, at a time. Just went all the way up. Just, yeah. Let's get going. It, yeah, there'll be plenty of time for breathing when you get to the top. <laughs> So here we are at the Astoria Column here in Astoria, Oregon. Astoria, Oregon. 164 steps. We made it to the top, totally out of breath. And who do I see? <laughs> I see EECC, -E totally trying to talk and breathe at the same time. Yeah. And no. they were so nice and sweet. And they said, when you get, if you come down and see us, come, you know, if we come back down and we can come say hi, you know. They were the reason why we are going to Alaska in a couple months. They're the reason why I finally got him to go on a cruise. He has refused to go on a cruise and he's now in his 50s and he's finally gonna go on a cruise because of them. So I'm like, Early 50s. Oh. <laughs> Early. <laughs> so they're the reason why. Downtown Astoria. You know, I've never been in this area? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before. Yeah. And then um, Moe's, we went to the one in yeah, Newport, Lincoln City. Lincoln City. But Moe's is a, a great little uh, seafood and chowder restaurant. Oh, this was where the old uh, ferry was. Yeah, before the bridges, you had uh, ferries. So this is one of the ferry uh, piers, ports, or where it was docked at. Ferried people across to Washington.
there's actually a trolley that runs down here and it runs on the weekends right now. I don't know if during the summer it's different, but it runs on the weekends. It's like $1 or $2 to get on this old trolley and it takes you all the way down through all the breweries and runs you all the way down to all the other shops and stores. Hopefully I can at least find the trolley and show what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I see headlights and it looks like the trolley might actually be running. Oh, you hear oh that? I can hear it, it's dinging. So this is the four mile bridge that runs all the way to Washington. So all the way from Astoria, Oregon into Washington, it's four miles long. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride I know man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so and in Somewhere I can find myself send it to a place in Washington. Yeah, Washington Chocolatier, and they turn it as it leaves here coffee and comes back like this little <laughs> coffee nugget. Magic, that's coffee magic. <laughs> a little dusting of uh, coffee grounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's mm. good too. How was that? Good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I had a feeling. So this is a, uh, it's a Colombian, it's a, it's a light roast. I love finding, love finding roasters. Good coffee, yeah, this great is service. Coffee. Yeah. Wonderful, right? Yeah. It's uh yeah, I have fruity undernotes and uh it's real good. Yeah. Yeah. Light and was, roast. And the truffle was amazing as well. Yeah, and, the, yeah. And the truffle was yeah, just get one. Yeah. Just get one because it's gonna give a belly ache if you had two. Yeah. And wonderful service. He took great care of us. Um they were busy in there. You seen them roasting, you see them working yeah. on stuff. And it sounded like they were like making new things, like they have Nitro, they have a lemonade yeah, on the, nitro they're the, yeah. experimenting yeah. with. Yeah, they're coffee scientists. They're they're working on uh, R&D as yeah. we were in there. Yeah. yeah, great place. So I would uh, definitely, if you're in the area and you love coffee like we do and you want to check out a good roaster, go to Columbia River uh, Coffee Roasters. They were fantastic. They were yep. nice. Yeah, good good people and they were busy. It's, it's <laughs> worth uh, running across the street. It's worth the danger. <laughs> yeah. that everybody goes to is called the bow picker and it's for fish and chips it's been here for a long long time old school usually there's a line out here a long long line and there is no line so i'm thinking oh no is it not open i don't know might be closed but, but we'll see if not everybody goes to the bow picker we got maniana if you're in Astoria, you have to go to the bow picker
cash, cash only. Uh, a few years ago, we made that mistake. First time we ever tried to come here. Yeah. We didn't have cash on us, and we didn't get anything. Yeah. Well, he's putting in the order, and we must have just gotten lucky, because there's been a line here every time. Even when you drive off the road, main road, you'll see a long line here at the bow picker. So I think we picked the right time of the day. It's not really dinner, and it's not really lunch, so we did a good job. Uh, cash only. Make sure you have cash if you come here. Tuna. Oh, it's tuna? Apple opener up there. Oh, wow. Oh, God. We've waited years for this. How yeah. is it? Awesome. Yeah, the batter's not over, uh, over battered. We just walked across the street from the bow picker. It's right over there. We just thought, let's just find a nice little place over here to, yep. to eat it. So. Absolutely hits the spot. So you come down to Astoria, the bow picker is where every, if you talk to anybody, they'll tell you to go to the bow picker. Bow picker. Symbolizing one million pounds of marijuana, marijuana seized. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? That's a lot. That is. That would make Cheech and Chong proud. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna get another stamp, right? Another brewery, another stamp. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. So, we're doing so, the research. So we've seen, the, uh, we've seen where it was made down below. And let's go drink it up above. Good job, it is very rainbowish. Nice work. Oh, look at that. Proud So what do you think, Cody? That was really cool. Honestly, like Liz, Liz is awesome. I really, she good service. But we've we've driven by this many, many times. Many times we've driven by here. 
I didn't realize they brewed their own beers. Yeah, and the so selection good. was awesome. It had like 16 different beers, yeah. every one of them. Every you know, so. beer was good. And the thing is, is they really watched the water. She said the pH balance of the water, what they put yeah. in, well, how they the make water it. makes the beer, period. Right, so. and you could, t everything was smooth. Everything was, I mean, it just tasted good. And so I, I would say for sure, this is worth the So stop. far, this is probably... This is our hidden gem, a hidden this, gem of this, this is, trip. Actually, this, this is probably my favorite brewery out of the yeah. whole damn deal. This is great, yeah. but 1985 movie, The Goonies, filmed here in Astoria, Oregon, just like several other films have been filmed here. We are going to really quick, just see if we can find The Goonies house because everybody talks about The Goonies when they go to Astoria and we're gonna just see if we can find it. Gonna, so here we go. Right, yeah, I think I've seen it right there. So let's go see if they're home. Let's go, let's go knock on their door and watch The Goonies. See if they all grew up, see if a Goonie might become a hobbit. <laughs> Did a goonie become a hobbit? A goonie became a hobbit. Oh, yeah. oh, I do see the goonie house. What? I already see the goonie house up ahead. And you're not supposed to go up that road. But there are people, that, you're not supposed to go up that road, I don't think. Well, here, I tell you what, once you run up it, I'll drop you off right here. We did it. We found the Goonies house. So right here behind us is the house that the movie The Goonies in 1985 was in. So uh, if you don't know that movie, you might want to go watch it. Um, as a kid, I enjoyed it. A lot of people do. It's a bunch of boys running around uh, trying to find some hidden treasure and get through life. It's a kind of a silly movie, but it was all basically based here and in Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach is about 45 minutes from here, and Haystack Rock is a scene that you see in that movie as well, and we have that on a previous uh, visit we did to the Oregon coast. But uh, right now, we found the Goonies here in Astoria, Oregon. But we have a feeling this might be the school that is in Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not positive. Yeah, it is John Jacob Astor. Yes, it is. I think that is the same school that is in Kindergarten Cop. So, interesting. This is the uh, where the bad guys were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how 
how you're gonna spend your time. <laughs> After 30 years of marriage, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure look pretty. Right, you come on over, sweetheart. <laughs> look, look pretty. Look at it. I don't know if you can be right, though. But... It's not a tumor. Huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So we got camera equipment. Can you follow me, Look at all the setup in here. So Look at all the work. That film. So so like so like I, can, I can still take you out. Well, you can add whatever to the green screen. I can, yeah, I can do it. Add one more setup. Where are you going, Back up. Wait. Oh. <laughs> you gonna put something really cool behind it, like I'm being chased by police? It is. No, do something from Dukes of Hazard. So, what do you think about County Jail? It's all right. I can do time. I've done time. Yeah. I can do time. You're I'm doing hard work. time right now, aren't you? Yeah. You're 31 years, 32 years, hard time served. So this was in the, if you watch the movie, if not go back and watch the movie, you'll see the bad guys are like racing throughout town in this vehicle. You'll see, I can't think of something brothers that drive this. So across from the Oregon uh, film, Museum. Across from the, uh, yeah, the uh, Oregon Film Museum is the Flavel 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 House. House. In the Goonies movie, one of the boys, his father, is like a curator at a museum, and this is actually the museum that they have him working at. So it's, and it's been in multiple movies. There's another movie you just looked at that they got to film the inside. The yeah, it was film. a horror movie, Shutter House, uh, Mortuary Collection, or something like that. Yeah, so. it's a horror movie where they got to film the inside, which is very rare. Strawberry ale. That one's strawberry? Are you sure? Got a pink one over here. Yeah, that one's a, a sour. Really? Yeah. Well, it's an ale too. That's a sour. Then you got the bridge behind you. Yeah. And the water over here. Look at oh, that. Nice. You get to watch ships come through while you're enjoying your beer. called blackberry ringer and it's a mixed culture sour sour blackberries mm. all right we're gonna get our prize let's get our prize let's see what it is i can't wait <laughs> so we did 10 breweries out of like 13 or 14 breweries from Astoria all the way up to Seaside and Cannon Beach and now we get to get our prize so we're gonna bring that in right now and get that. Let's see what we get. The visitor center. Hi. She's Hi. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How can we help you? Our prizes. Very well. <laughs> I am going to Mark that you've redeemed them, so you will know where you can go back in the future. All right. As officiated by and the do uh, it again. Astoria Town Council. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Here, 
are the spoils of your labor. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, yeah. look at that. Look at this, and we get a With sticker, a oh no, magnet. A magnet yeah. for the oh. RV. Well, that's a bonus. We oh. love magnets. It is. Great. And then you're the town mayor, right? I certainly And am. sheriff and judge. And that's right. <laughs> and don't think you can get by with a thing. Oh, and you already called. I can do that. <laughs> that's right. When I saw you walk out to the door. Here they come. This is great. Right. Those are really nice. They're so much better than pint yeah. glasses. Yeah, this is a lot better than the, the silicon pints that Ben gave out. Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, so always come to a story. Well, if you get tired of beer, We've got the Crab Seafood and Wine Festival this weekend. Oh, we love seafood and actually mm. we like wine too, so good. Yeah, there you go. All right. We got done with the beer, so we'll hit the wine. <laughs> <laughs> you got them. I think it was worth it. So we were already going to visit breweries. You know us, we're already going to visit breweries. And so we visited 10 out of 14 breweries and we each got a beautiful mug. And it's actually a mug and it's heavy. And then on top of that, we got a magnet. So we got more magnets for our fridge. And so we accomplished our goal. Now listen, we started though over in Warrington. So if you wanna see that one, you gotta go back to the video before this one. We did the first three in Seaside and Gearhart, and we did seven of them in Astoria. But you have to go look at Warrington. And we stayed the night over in Warrington at a really great campground. It's called Fort Stevens Campground. So that's where we stayed. It's only a 15 minute drive to enjoy Astoria. So go look at that so you can see the first three breweries that we visited. Like See, wood. didn't I tell you this would be the best brewery ever? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm like... Gem? That was a hidden gem. It was. They just opened up in November, and wow, what a what an awesome brewery. The whole uh, the, the layout of the place was awesome. Uh, the beers were awesome. They had a lot of collaborations. They had their own beers. They had like five or six of their own beers, and they had about another five, four or five uh, collaborations. And uh, yeah, really and cool. it's called Obelisk. Obelisk. Obelisk, Obelisk Beer Obelisk. Company. Yeah. Obelisk. And they're, they've Astoria. only been open for like, what, six Since months? November. Since November, yeah. Yeah, so. so I mean, very new. It smelt new in there. Everything yeah, was like, the new flooring. Car smell. Yeah. yeah, the paint was beautiful. Yeah. The flooring was great, but it was like a nice new place. Yeah. It was yeah, great. Yeah, didn't, didn't have a kitchen, didn't have a food, but that's all right because I'm here for the beer. I'm not yep. here for the, I'm not here for Todd's fries or uh, any of that business. I want the beer and they deliver. Yeah, nice hidden gem. That yeah. was great. Yeah, Nathan, he, uh, he was pouring the beer and knowledgeable. He knew. He knew everything. Yep, he's you know. great. Nathan yep. was good. Good, good service. Yep. Yep. So we are getting ready to leave Astoria and wrap up our time here in Astoria. There's a lot to do in Astoria. We didn't do it all. There's, I mean, there's hikes, there's walks, there's places to go. You can tour the Flavel House. Flavel. Flavel. Flavel yeah, House. The, the Flavel House. You yeah. can tour the Flavel House. You can tour the Maritime Museum. There is a lot to do in Astoria. You could spend a couple days here. It's a really neat little coastal town or what would you say? It's a river town? port. Yeah, it's a, a river, river port town. River yeah. port town. But we tried to show you all the major things that are here. The North Coast Brewery Trail. That was great. Yeah, we had a good time doing that. And uh, we found some places that we wouldn't have found otherwise. If it wasn't on the list, we wouldn't have gone there. And so it's a good thing that we did go down the list and uh, check a few places out that we'd normally not do. We actually went right to the top of our uh, favorites list. So. Uh, right, and it was a good prize. I mean, we showed you already, we got a good prize for doing that. It was a nice big mug. Yep. Um, but really just spending some time around here. We really enjoyed ourselves. The, the column was great. I gotta say, I got distracted. And of all things in this world, I must. I should play the lottery. I should play the lottery because I get to the top of the column and I see 
Jason from EECC Travel and Alyssa and I'm like what no way like how does that happen like I only have like probably 10 that I consistently have followed for five to ten years and I get to the top of column and I see them like how does that happen I don't know but yeah, it was it was embarrassing Jody was smitten she didn't know what to say she was rambling on well that's what the channel is just rambling so she was rambling on and uh, and uh, they're good looking folks on the videos and they're even better looking folks in person that was amazing I was like man yeah and they were so they were so kind because and she was so sweet because she said when you come down if you see us come come back and say hi to us again um, but you know I didn't want to bother them. I felt like I already interrupted them but how strange is that if anybody out there who's a youtuber and you have these people you follow what are the odds so that was great um, so that was fun to do that in Astoria Oregon of all places but um, we went to the movie museum we uh, have never been there before yeah so it was they were all good experiences you know we we did what we could do in the in the area so the movie museum was was it was kind of neat it was interesting seeing a few things that we didn't know was filmed in Oregon but uh, uh, it was a little eye-opening to see what happened in there and then we had some good food we had uh, at the bow picker we had uh, the good fish and chips the, the tuna fish and chips real cheap too and uh, yeah. which is surprising. Yeah. Uh, great beers and uh, great locations. Just walking along the river on a beautiful day, we seen things that we normally wouldn't see just driving through, and taking the time to uh, to experience all that was uh, was really cool. And to go back to the films, I mean, like a lot of films have been done in all different states, but in Oregon, a lot of films were done. But in Astoria specifically, there was quite a few films that have done been done in in Astoria so I was glad that we found those places and we actually found the Goonies house so any Goonies mm -hmm. fans out there we actually went and found the house for you showed the house and we showed where Kindergarten Cop was filmed and so that yeah. was kind of neat yeah. so I think the house I want to see isn't the Goonies house I want to see the animal house and so I think <laughs> the next video we should do is probably one is, is Eugene okay. go down to Eugene to see the animal house from uh, John Belushi, and then see the uh, the nut house from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest yeah. with uh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, we so we need to head on down there, and those are both filmed in Oregon as well. Yeah, and so and like the shiny, we are going to meet some friends, some other YouTubers. We're going to meet them in Mount Hood and go see where the shining, the outside of the shining, was yeah, filmed. Yeah, exterior shots of the, the shining there at the Timberline Hotel. Hit notifications because we're going to be showing that in a couple months from now, so you might want to go see that. But anyway, we're gonna head back over to Warrington and that is where we're staying. We're staying at Fort Stevens State Park. That is where we are staying right now. Um, it's only a 15 minute drive to come enjoy Astoria while you're camping over in Warrington across the bridge. Make sure you hit notifications, hit subscribe and like so you can see what we did before this video. You can go look at it and what we're gonna be doing after. All right, folks, keep on rambling. Thank you.